Hello, I'm John Proxy and I'm having a Final Fantasy 14 online adventure around Reborn on Channel John of the West. And uh, I've teleported myself to Limsa Lo Minsa. Yeah, that's what it's called, isn't it? Uh, because this is where my quest is. Um, yes, it's down here somewhere. And um, uh, you might notice, you may have not noticed, that I have got round to uh, changing the order of my uh, spells and stuff. I have not been able to test that out yet, so that's going to be interesting. But, um... So I... Oh, I'll, I'll go through it quickly. I've I moved sleep next to its uh, thing, to the symbol. Because um, I figure sleep is sort of... Um, in your average fight, it's not going to be used. It's I, So I can click with the mouse up here. And, of course, I can shift 9. And I put my mana ward up here for the same reason. It's only useful against magical opponents. Um... And so now, uh, most interestingly, I put Raging Strikes at the start. That's what my Archer ability, the Cross Class, says it increases t damage dealt by 20%. Since it has the longest recast, actually I believe uh, Convert has the longest recast, so I'm going to have to think about that. Um, I put it right at the start, uh, hopefully, so I could use it in everyday combat. And I put Swift Cast, so I put Thunder there because you always start with Thunder, and then I put Swift Cast before the fire. Um, just so it's a bit closer, I'm, I'm more likely to remember to use it. And and I've put Convert before Transpose. The idea being, Convert sacrifices 20% of my HP to restore 30% of my MP. It means I can use Fire for longer. So that's why I put it before the Transpose. Scaife may have to go back there. Uh, and there are my AoE abilities and heal. So I may have to rethink that. May put convert way over there, maybe put scaife next to my normal normal abilities because I don't want to be kind of uh, looking for it. In fact, I may do that now. Um, yeah, I think I will actually. There we go, and I'm much, much le less likely to accidentally hit convert when I don't need to. Uh, let's lock the icons. And of course I do have a quest to pick up over here. And of course now run is on five because uh, I put short cast above swift cast. Uh, short cast I'm much less likely to ever click, but I figure that they're the same similar, same sort of spells. It might make sense for them to be near each other. Yes, but I'm still doing the storyline quests until it tells me I can't. So yes, here we are. You're very short to be a stormtrooper. Um, yes, she says hello. And she suddenly realised that I'm somebody who she should have been expecting. The Kobolds have once again summoned Titan. It's very exciting, because uh, I'm looking forward to fighting him. Uh, yes, they began observing the Beastmen, moving south, increasing numbers from Ogomoro. Ogomoro! And their scouts uh, confirmed the object of their aggression. Crystals, fodder for their fell primal. Yes. <gasps> She's the leader lady. The pale elf, um, and she's going to explain the rest. So uh, you know, she asks for forgiveness for the lack of forewarning. I think that's the coolest um, female jacket in the game. Um, it's just my opinion. Yeah, they're no strangers to conflict. Along have the Sahagin, those are the fishmen, I believe, and the Kobolds plagued their people. Nor is this the first time they've had to address a primal threat. Well, I killed a primal. So in the past, when Titan rose to threaten peace, it was to the company of heroes we turned. But they've long disbanded, long yeah, a, long, a while back. So other someone else has to do the job. I think it might have to be me, and presumably three other people. But we don't talk about them. So I, I'm, um, I'm their best hope, of course. Is she, oh no, I thought she, that's Ida, isn't it? Is that Ida? Yeah. Was that the arch lady? Um, yeah, yes, no, that's Ishtola. Oh, yeah, it is wears short shorts, doesn't she? Yeah, I know, oh, yeah, Ishtola, I remember, yes. Uh, well, she says they are not prone to unprovoked aggression. Uh, did not the Thralocracy make a pact with the Beastmen that each would keep their own lands? And so there, there was uh, a pact, apparently. 
And was it not the lone Mincians who violated this agreement according to her? So, yes, she's all judgy. Oh, the cat ladies are arguing amongst themselves. She just told her to shut up. Um, and the wrong is mine. She claims that, yes, they uh, they did start on them first. But remorse will not shield us from Titan's wrath. Or do you have us fall upon our own swords? And she apologizes. Anyway, they have observed disruptions in the flow of ether further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city ere long. Uh, so, can they count on my help? No, I'm going home. Oh, apparently they can. Sorry, I misread that. Um, so, yes, they await... Well, she awaits good tidings. Uh, so, yes... Uh, we're not going to be able to negotiate with the Kobolds since they're planning on summoning Titan. So we're going to have to prepare for conflict. Uh, so we're going to talk to the mercenaries who defeated him before. The company of heroes may be no more, but the several of its former members are still alive. One of them might be is employed in the Greyfleet Mills in Lower Lanosia. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, she doesn't know. Well, let's find him. If I do run out of quests, I still have that big-mouthed uh, Malbra to go back and fight. Is that the only one I have left? Uh, my only worry is I don't want to... Um... Ah, no, it's the Knuckle Dancer as well. And the Stropper. I don't want to forget about them and be, be killing stuff from rank 4 and not getting credit. That's my worry. Uh, so where's Tractorm? Somewhere I ain't been yet. Hmm. What's up here? Somewhere I ain't been yet either. Alright, where is that? Somewhere I ain't been yet. Oh, getting a lot of that. Ooh, hang on. Huh. <sighs> I just want to teleport to the closest place, damn it. Alright, let's just teleport to... Uh, Moraby Dry Docks? I don't know where the hell the nearest place is. Uh, I suppose I don't really have a lot. No, I don't. Uh, let's go to the Swift Perch and see how close it is. I don't want to faff around. I'm not drinking caffeine as it's quite late. I've gone for mango and orange juice instead. Yes, I'm sure you're fascinated by that. Uh, oops, I accidentally clicked a thing. So. No. So if I go south? I don't even know where I am right now. Yes, I'm going to make my way over there. Right. Oh, uh, I moved my chocolate to button 6 instead of button 3, but... Ah, I wasted a short cast. Ah, okay, yes. Let's see where I am now. Bum bum ba da bum bum bum. Yes. It's what the music would sound like if I replaced all the noises with the word bum. I'm sure you appreciated that. Anyway, we'll get there eventually. Let's jump over the electric wire. Take a sip of mango orange. And I think I have to go upwards now? No, not upwards. Hmm. Do 
Downwards? Downwards! Right. By quite a way as well. Uh, I'm good. I was wondering how the hell to get across. Ooh, what the hell was that? Just had a graphical effect happen. And uh, I'll just move the map up there. And uh, let's go up the descent. Not on a spaceship, it doesn't really feel like descent. Ah, and Lim Limsa Luminsa looks pretty nice from out here. It's a bee cloud! I knew there was bees. I should have saved all my bee jokes for then. Uh, oh, I was right next to it, wasn't I? Well, never mind. Yeah, I could have probably gone a much quicker way, but... As I said, never mind! So, first things first. Let's go to that town and make sure I got it. Ooh, got an achievement. Fantastic. This looks like it's going to be a 25 minute video to justify me existing. Right. Surprised I haven't gone in here already. Summerford Farms. I wonder if there's a little VV building army underneath these farms. That's six. Muscle memory there. There we go. Let's attune to this place. That will help out. There we go. Six. Get back on the chocobo and make our way south. It looks like night is going upon us. It's all very pretty. Sort of haven't spent too much time in this land. Uh, well, this was the uh, Arcanist land, of course. And um, yes. Well, I only did like four levels. Was it six levels? I did six levels. That's the one. Rosebud. Hang on. It's a level eight chocobo. I want to level my chocobo up. How do I do that? What level is she? She's level eight as well. How does that work? Well, it might not be her first character. I think I need to get some Gishal Greens to summon my Chocobo, but not sit on him or her. I really haven't haven't checked the gender. I want a Gubu. I can't have one. I'm not allowed him. Ooh, look, a bigger bomb. Oh yes, some Cascadeers. No, I don't think I'll go in that. I think I've done that enough. That was nice. Clearly did not need to go there. Where are oh, there? It is. The La Fan Grand checkpoint. Wow. It's going to be an episode of me just running places. And to think I thought I was saving time. I may have been here before as well. I get the feeling I have been here. <gasps> Cave bats. Pokemon. Does ring a bell. Cedar wood. Yes, I think I have been here before. Well, never mind. We're almost there. We're on the correct screen at the very least. Move this up. It looks better. Look. Wind farms. I've discovered a new location. A load of tiny mandragora. Yes. Yes. Ah, the Great Fleet. That's what it's called. Of course, these are the pirate nations, so everything's surrounded by water. I thought the wild dodo. 
Look at that. I can't believe they died out. Um, uh, fairly sure my mission is near here. Hmm. Well, there's this Tola, and there's... Well, if you'd got here first, you should have taken me with you. Never mind. Look at that person's chocobo. It's got something on the side. I thought, oh, mine does as well. Anyway, let's talk to this hero bloke. He's singing a song. Uh, and I don't know the tune, so luckily I don't get to sing it. He wants to know if I've got to say something. Um, yes, he's a bit... Uh, Annoyed because he's all famous and people always talk to him. He just wants peace. Oh, do I get something cool? I could get some crumpets. I love crumpets. Um, spell speed plus seven. Yes, I think I'll actually take them. It's a lot of silver pieces, though. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna take crumpets. It gives me spell speed. Uh, spell speed plus seven percent. Well, if I could just tell what my everything else gave me. Oh, 8%. Yeah, let's take the money. Quest complete! Yes, fantastic. Um, so, he he's eager to regale me. He wants me to go away a second ago. He wants to regale me with stories of his glory days. Well, I just want to kill stuff. And I don't really have... Wow. That suit. Wow, you're Miller, you say. You've got an axe on your back, Miller. Anyway, uh, he wants. He's going to tell me the uh, tale of how the company of heroes bested a primal. You mean that bastard Tidus? Uh, if only I'd been there to see it. Yes, I did say Tidus. That's what he said, or Titus, however you pronounce that. It was. Uh, it was a mighty, mighty struggle, like the legends of old. Him and the boys fought him for three days and nights, they did. The ground trembled with every step Titus took, and when he, when he hit the boy, it felt like a... Oh, is that Titan? He's calling Titan Titus? What? Um, I'm a bit confused. Uh, yeah, he's, he's not sure that I believe him. Uh, well, and he's not feeling uh, charitable, so if I'm so, you know, if I'm so desperate, then why don't I do him a favour and kill all the rats that made a nest? But I'm level 30, I've just become a mage, don't make me kill rats, that's a level 1 quest. Oh, fine, let's... The Tidus Slayer. Let's destroy the rat's nest. I mean, I realise they're going to be rat people, obviously, but... But it's a location and not a kill quest. Let's kill this tiny mandragora. Oh cool, they all started on me. Yes! If you're all gonna start on me... I'm gonna kill you of ice. Oh, that was exciting. Oh yes, but things are gonna kill me now. So um, hopefully, I want to. Am I gonna sense a hostile presence? Ah, oh, wolf rats. Okay, let's see if that makes it better. So, yeah. why it appears to? I don't know. I'm gonna keep using fire, and I oh, I've got no MP. So let's try. Hang on, how did that work? It didn't seem to work for me. It did something. Right, I'm not entirely sure on that swift cast. Oh, of course. 
Whoa, should not have used that right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, that worked that time. Uh. Yes. I kind of got to get used to that. I accidentally used Swift Cast, and then when I did use the spell, it really, really hurt me. Yes. I think I'll be fine now, though. Okay, got to. I've got to get used to the order that this does everything in. Uh, let's switch back to Transpo to that, and heal myself. Oh, there's another rat. There's a Rat King. Oh, cool. So, should, now I should have used Swift Gust. There we go. And I think that's everything, because, I mean, what are you going to do after the Rat King, eh? Right. Yes, the new order I put the spells in is going to take a little bit of getting used to. So I'm going to be a tiny bit clumsy when it comes to that. But at least we got to kill something. I mean, I got to kill some Mandragore as well, but... The, the, yeah, the rats did me some damage. Mainly because I was being a bit foolhardy, but... You yeah, know, some. So, uh, not going to be the most action-packed episode. Anyway, uh, so I saved him a little bit of hassle. And... And to myself some more silver pieces so he appears to be ignoring me so uh, still asking oh yeah I'm still asking how he beat Tidus uh, it was a pretty risky strategy the kind of only a veteran of 10 score battles could rely upon he wants to teach me he really does but I've got to prove myself um, he wants to know if I can kill a gooboo I killed loads of gooboos Man, let's murder a gooboo. But they look adorable. I don't want to kill a gooboo. But I do want to kill something. Oh, I can't just kill a gooboo. I've got to go into the destination. Now this would be a better time for me to test out um, the archer ability. I think. Oh, it's a very big gooboo. So let's use fire, which is four. See how much damage it does. Does 100. Get the hell out of that. Use that on him. And then use fire again. Because it goes on him. It's now 118. Uh, let's see if it's consistent. 164. So that seems improved. Let's instant cast on. Yeah, that does seem useful for bosses and stuff, then. Uh, what doesn't seem useful is he's about to murder me. And last time, I tried to get my mana back. So let's heal a few times. Then use Convert. And then I can kill. Keep using Fire! Hopefully, he won't kill me. Uh, let's heal myself. And the All right, he killed me. But it was an interesting experiment. <sighs> All right, I've been John Proxy, having a Final Fantasy XIV online adventure on Channel John West, around we born. And I'll see you next time.